Uh, so let me tell you a story about my pa. I probably told this on a video. Um, he bought a computer once, and it had Windows XP. I think that was the current Windows at the time. And you know how when you first start up a computer with Windows XP, the Windows XP logo that shows before all the drivers and stuff are fully loaded is a 640x480, like, splash screen? Yeah. He, my, my dad, like, noticed that that was really low resolution, looking on, which was 1024x768, so he went and bought a graphics card to make it look better. Nice. That's um, good thinking. Yep. And then he, he put in the graphics card, and he loaded it up, and he saw the same 640x480 Windows XP splash screen, and he said, ha, ah, that looks better. <laughs> Do you think it was just that he knew he was wrong and was just playing it up? Just like, don't admit? Yeah, it's hard to tell with that guy. I remember <laughs> my father. Uh... He heard about those, like, two monitor things setups that some people do, and he wanted me to talk him through setting up a double monitor, but he you, had two plug the other one in. ancient CRT monitors <laughs> and an ancient computer, and I'm like, I, on the, I'm on the phone like, I don't know how to fucking fuck you through this. Uh, it just depends on what outputs your computer has. I mean, I'm sure you know that now, but... Trying to explain that to him over the phone X years ago was probably an adventure, yep. Yeah, well, it's not easy to fucking dual monitor on a computer that was running, like, Windows ME and had the default fucking gra built-in graphics card into the motherboard. Uh, there's some fun interaction happening in chat. We should talk about it. Um... Okay. What's going on? Is it actually um, not fun? Ganon, Ganon Kong was aware that I told you that story before and he wanted to remind you. Oh, well, I'm glad that he's around to remind you yep. of things you told me because I fucking didn't remember it. Yep, <laughs> that's, that's the trivia logic in his brain, is the, the interactions that you and I have had, all of them, ever. He <laughs> was... What a... Yep. Like... I, pay, I almost feel a little bit bad because, like, I'm not even that interested in what I have to say. <laughs> Alright, I need to go and drop some shit off at the, uh... Oh, hey, cat! I should wander your bowl. Uh, Real Body Workout says, do you see this when I type, or is there a delay? <laughs> um, we see it when you type, there's a delay in our response back to you because you're viewing it seconds later. Yes. And I, I think we had Rick check the checkbox for less delay. I think it decreases the delay from five, from 10 to 5, but I don't know for sure. Don't call me on that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I checked all checkboxes that needed to be checked. But that said, my internet is wild good, is not spectacular. So, who knows? Okay, I'm gonna go to the carpenter lady and see if I can upgrade my multiplayer cabin. Ooh, upgrade cabin. Nice. Cool. Um, yep, that's a real thing. Okay, it still costs 10,000 G, which we definitely don't have. Oh boy. Did you almost just spend 10,000 G? You you can't you can't you can't go into negatives. This is <laughs> did costume. you did did you take a loan? There's there's no tiny raccoon to give you a loan in this game. Uh, right. uh, that would be pretty dark if there was. Like I I would have gotten into some trouble with that on my first or second playthrough. Imagine if there was a tiny raccoon in real life who would give you loans for TF2 items. Uh, yeah, I've seen that on on Tumblr posts. Reblog here for the the loan shark rac raccoon. Oh god. For good luck with your credit score. Yeah. Reblog for good luck with your credit score. I better talk to everybody. Right. Um, I am kind of wondering. Gosh, 
We've cleared out all of the junk on the farm except for the larger stumps and rocks that we need better axes and picks for. Yeah. So now I want to prioritize that next. But we need a backpack. <laughs> yeah, we need a backpack for both of us. We need 20,000 G worth of backpack. Hmm. Okay, what else do I do now that we've planted all the plants? And we've cleared out most of the junk on the farm. I forget what you're supposed to do in the game. Do you fish? I think you just I fish. alternate between fishing and going in the caves. Yeah. Okay, I'll do some fishing. Uh, it's probably better for me to focus on fishing than you, because fishing is not as interesting for streams. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Feel free to, feel free to talk us through what you're doing there, too. I'm just meeting... Handing sap to villagers. They, they yeah. Don't like, they don't like it. They don't like it. <laughs> I, I just reach over, like, past them, and I just gently apply some sap to the side of their face. No. <laughs> just like, it's nice to meet you. I'm the farmer. Maybe in some European nations that's within <laughs> etiquette, but not around here. Not not here in, uh. Please allow me to. Country, USA. Gently touch your face. With this sticky, gross fucking sap. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I, I just received the quest to go find Robin back, so I'm gonna go do that. I think that'd be a good use of my time right now. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Found it. It's like it's like I already knew. It never spawns in a different spot, does it? Nope. I'm glad I was able to make a good space for town character. It was a good job. Yeah. Would you prefer I just refer to you as Space Rat Town from now on? I don't know. It is fortuitous that they had a literal rat town sh in the game though. I was like, what kind of shirt do I wear? Oh yep, it, it is a rat town. It is that man. Space Rat Town. Let me into your fucking room, Sebastian. I just want to talk to you. Calm down. God, he never comes out of his room, the fucking guy. He does. He goes to the bar like three days a week. <laughs> That's dark. He's like 12. To, to play the pinball machine in the corner. I wonder if we could play multiplayer on that pinball machine. Probably not. But uh, worth a try. Okay, how do I give you... Oh yeah, your axe inventory item. Hand that to you. Alright. Watch our money total. It is about to explode. Woohoo! Yay. Look at all that money. <laughs> cool. That was, that was worth a walk out to the loop. I am um, oh so happy. <laughs> Yoshi348 says Pico Raton. Oh shit! Yep. Uh, Real Body Workout is describing some of the advanced ratones that are available in the game. Raton, Raton, Raton of Still Waters, Magma Raton, and Special Raton. Oh, Special Raton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eternal Raton. Yep, Special Raton. You don't get rat Special Raton until you've locked until you've unlocked everything else in the Raton Compendium. Um, okay. I remember Diamond Raton from the, what was it, the, like, the fucking lava pool at the end of uh, Earthbound? Yeah. Like, you, you shoot Raton, and then he bursts into, his, all of his fur flies off, and then he's secretly Diamond Raton? No, that re real answer is that that was um, Diamond Dog in Earthbound, but you must be thinking of the Raton Bound ROM hack for Earthbound. Oh, that's right. Yeah, which which I personally released in 2003 and <laughs> did, was a smash hit. <laughs> did you? Like that that could actually yep. be something that happened. Yep, replaced every enemy in the game with some variant of Raton. I uh, I'm shocked. I'm sure it, you're you're full of shit, but <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put it past the young Krem. 
<laughs> uh. All At right, that I'm point, gonna go hand in. I forgot we had 20 parsnips like just sitting in the box, so I'm gonna go hand in five of those for bundle and then sell the rest. That'll be great. Yeah, let's get some money. Mhm. Mm I've just literally been running around like a madman all day. I haven't really gotten anything done. I donated some fish, but not enough. All right, let's get rid of some of the shit on my fucking inventory. Let's build another. Let's just build another one of these. Let's see. Um, I'm confident that selling 20 parsnips will give us some amount of money. Probably not that much. But... I can make fertilizer. Do you want me to make a shit ton of fertilizer? No, I already made some. Okay. I made enough for all the crops we're going to plant for now. No, I'm just kidding. I should plant more crops. It's yeah. always time to plant more crops. Uh, yeah, you... You're insane if you think we have planted enough crops. Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll do a little bit of fishing for right now. Let's... Oh no. Oh, here you go. Then. Uh, you should decide on how these boxes are going to be organized. Maybe make one for tools and one for rocks and one for plants yeah I can do that for fish something like that I'll make, a, <clears throat> I'll make a few for those who are just tuning in I'm uh, indulging in a strange habit where I'm playing this game on Steam controller it's actually pretty good um, it is not my first time playing on Steam Controller. That was very awkward when I was initially learning it, but for my second playthrough of the game, I challenged myself to use that controller, and it worked great. I'm even capable of fishing with it. Yeah, it's, a uh, Steam Controller is that one weird one with, like, the weird fucking, like, speaker-looking things going on, right? Yeah, they're trackpads. That's absolutely bizarre. Oh no! Oh no! You can be damaged by enemies. It's terrible. Ah! Stop touching me! Ah shit! I dropped a fucking seed! And I have no ability to take it up because my tools are put away. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with there being enemies around because still, even though I'm probably the person who will never go in the mines, because be going in the mines. Yeah. Uh, here, let me put a bat wing in a box. Uh, which box is for bat wings? Uh, I'm gonna make the farthest right one for bat wings. I'll, I'll organize okay. it, don't worry. You'll know. Alrighty. Let's take a nap. Let's get out of here before this fucking, these bats annoy us any further. Okay, not that house. That's, that's not my house. Ah, get out! Get out of um... my house!